Number 22, a small ball rolls horizontally off the edge of a tabletop that is 1.2 meters high. It strikes the floor at a point 1.52 meters horizontally from the table edge. Letter A, how long is the ball in the air? Letter B, what is its speed at the instant it leaves the table? So let's suppose that we, this is the table over here. And this is the floor. And then there is a ball over here that's rolling and do something like this. This distance over here is 1.52 meters. And this distance over here is equal to 1.2 meters. Let's first choose our x and y directions. So to make it easier, I'm calling the positive y direction downwards and the positive x direction to the right. I'm choosing this because the acceleration in the y direction would be plus 9.8 meters per square second. But this is an option. You could choose upwards as the positive direction. You can choose either way. It will, will give you exactly the same answers, but you would have to do a little bit more of calculations if you make the, a different decision than mine. The acceleration in the x direction is zero because in our planet the acceleration is vertical and not horizontal, so the acceleration in the x direction is zero. So the acceleration is constant in both cases, in both directions, and we can use this equation over here to solve letter A. y equals to yo plus voyt plus ayt squared over 2. Let's say that at the edge of the tabletop, over here in this green dot over here, the initial height is equal to zero, and the initial position in the x direction is equal to zero as well. So let's say let's see what we have here. The initial position in the y direction is zero. The initial velocity in the y direction is zero as well because the ball is going horizontally, so it doesn't have a velocity uh, vertically at the initial point of course then after a while it would uh, have velocity uh, in the y direction but initially it doesn't have the acceleration is the acceleration of the gravity this one over here and t is what we want to find out and the final y over here is 1.2 meters so all we have to do is to isolate t and that's pretty much it so let's do it in small steps. So 2y is equal to ayt squared. 2y over ay equals to t squared. So t is equal to the square root of 2y over ay. And this is equal to the square root of 2 times 1.2 divided by 9.8. And this gives us 0. Uh, 495 mit, uh, meters per uh, seconds. 495 seconds. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we can use uh, the same equation but for the x direction. So x equals to xo plus voxt plus axt squared over 2. The initial x is zero. The acceleration in the x direction is zero as well. So if we want to find Vox, we just have to isolate it. So Vox is equal to x over t. And this is equal to 1.52 divided by the t that we just find over here. So it gives us 0 0.495. And the answer of letter B is 3.07 meters per second. So this is the answer of this exercise.